today we're going to be trying our hardest to survive. And I, I think we can do it. I believe. Let's just get some tools first, though, before we make any assumptions. We're playing with a few mods. Nothing crazy. Just little things here and there to improve the vanilla experience. Um, they're all fabric mods, unfortunately. But they do update more frequently and more effortlessly than Forge mods, so that's why we're doing that. Plus, I'm not doing anything crazy. They're just really basic mods. Well, kind of. I mean, <laughs> opening my inventory, you can see there's um, there's a lot different. And by a lot, I mean there's just different slots and stuff like that. But it's not that crazy. It's mainly convenience. And I think as we play more, you'll realize that it really is just convenient stuff. Because I've been playing this game for so long, I, you know, survival gets kind of boring. So I like to spice it up and have little mods that help here and there. Um, but our goal today is to try and get everything. Literally everything. In fact, this isn't a one day thing. This is going to take a while. In fact, this is probably going to be multiple recordings. And my goal is to get netherite and just be done with it. Not have to worry about armor, not have to worry about anything. Get netherite. Well, first we have to get iron, then we have to get diamond. Then we get netherite. And then we're golden. But, like, I guess there's, like, obviously a lot of steps in between that. Like, hmm. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't set such a big goal for right off the bat. Um, especially since that skull is going to take forever, and this is hardcore. Oh, you know what? What am I doing? Let's use this. The magic of the slot. Ta-da! No more crap in my inventory. Oh, gosh. Oh, this is cool. I like the dirt caves. It's really cool. A very popular concept in the community. All right, this is promising. Let's... Let's break this water here and give us a way down and up. Oh, and I got flint already, too. That's really nice. So me setting this goal for myself to get these items isn't me trying to necessarily rush through the game. I mean, it is. Like, I'm not trying to speed run at all. I'm not going to kill the ender dragon. Like, maybe I will. I don't know. I just... I want to get all that nonsense out of the way like all the grinding get all the tools everything just get it done I really want that iron up there oh come on please okay our crafting table still let's use this because it's convenient uh i need more sticks gosh try not to say uh or um or you know all the filler words Yes, goodbye. Actually, what am I doing? No, we're we're gonna save our first pick because it's a memento and hopefully this series will go on for a long time and we can look back and be like, wow, that was our first pick. Um, sword and axe and everything? No, don't really care. Because like the pick is important. It's what progresses you. The other things they just protect you or make resource gathering easier. The pickaxe is special. It will have a podium for itself. It will make a glorious temple for wooden pickaxe. And I really need to get out of this hole before it gets dark. Yeah, this is not good. I should get out of here. And get some food ASAP. Can you swim, please? Literally ends the hardcore series. With me falling off this little waterfall and dying. Do you imagine? So we are on an island. And I don't really want to kill... Okay, you know what? We're going to be smart. Ooh, there's wolves. That's nice. Let's immediately just get some... Shades. Wow, I could not think of the word. Okay, we got some seeds. I need some wood. We're gonna... But like, I'm panicked all of a sudden. Okay, I'm fine. Everything's fine. 
let's just do this right off the bat because food is important. And we're actually lucky to have some chickens here. If I can place these fences down. Okay, chickens. Come here, chinkins. Come here. Get over here. All right. I have a wonderful new home for you. You're going to love it. You thought you liked free roam? Let me tell you, you're going to love this over here. This this is going to be your most favorite place in the world. You're going to have so much fun here. And now you're trying. Those fools, they never stood a chance. I wish I could cook eggs. That's one mod thing that I wish I would have added. More food options. But the only one that was out was broken. So you win some, you lose some. Um, you might have noticed by now that the terrain looks a little different. Oh, chicken, you're dying. Um, and by terrain, I mean just ch the generation in general. This isn't natural. Like, Minecraft forests are very claustrophobic, and this is not. This is very open, very serene. You might see some falling leaves here and there. And stuff like that. So... Just, like I said, things that enhance the world, make it more bearable for me, and hopefully... I need to stop running so much, oh my gosh. Hopefully to make the world more bearable for me, but also for you, the viewer, to enjoy the experience and, you know, not have this just be another survival series or whatever. Give it some uniqueness. I guess uniqueness comes from individuality. Oh! You tried to survive, chicken. You're gonna die. That's what I thought. Okay, actually, um, this is not important, but I want this. I'm just gonna take these. So, I'm gonna confine all of the building to the island. Everything, all the projects and stuff are gonna be on this island because when the new update comes out, oh, and I left my crafting table over there. When 1.18 comes out, which, by the way, we're on... 1.17.1 when 1.18 comes out i'd like to update as soon as possible and not have to travel very far to experience the new content because that's what i'm most excited about oh, oh my my first enemy um but yeah so like it's no big deal i found a nice seed it is all just forest so definitely we'll have to make it beautiful and unique when we start doing building and stuff like that, designing the base here. Um, I would like to live underground for a bit, but obviously that's dangerous and we need lighting and protection. So I think for now we're going to opt to living on the surface. Also, I'm not used to this mod because I keep switching to my one, two, and three, and four slots where I usually have my tools. And I don't need to do that. <laughs> uh, I'll be honest, I kind of wish I could have found some sheep. I did pick out the seed, but I didn't really look around that much, so I have no idea. Okay, that's kind of annoying. I don't switch fast enough sometimes, but you know what? A discrepancy, it's not that big of a deal. Oh, look, there's a little snow over there. Why is it glitching? Oh, wow, that's freaky. Um, yeah, so we should probably hide underground, if I'm being honest. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing any sheep here. Well, this is Chicken Island, apparently. And I haven't really seen many cave openings, but I did remember seeing one over here, if my memory serves me. Wow, I am already hearing lots of mobs down in this cave. How do we want to approach this? You know what? We have iron. Let's make a shield. That is top priority when playing hardcore. Especially because skeletons are so powerful and creepers are the menace. The absolute menace. Oh my gosh. What's this now? So we can get some rooted dirt, right? That's what it's called. Yes. Lovely. Oh yeah, I forgot you can have multiple 
side slots. I, I'm going to have to get used to that. That's very innovative. I think I'm going to rush to get an iron pickaxe because that's pretty important. Because, I mean, like, who knows? Maybe we'll just go mining and um, be gone for a while and get diamond, you know, full diamond. Now it's going to take forever. Unless we're lucky. But we need 24 for a full set of armor. And then I think it's like 36 for everything. If I'm doing the math correctly. And you know what? Let's make a shovel. Because I skipped out on making a stone one. It only seems right to make an iron one. It's nice having this extra inventory space though. Instead of having the hot bar, it's literally like just more items bar especially when building like having all nine slots free is a dream because you always have to have your pickaxe and your axe at least because you you know you're building with those materials that need to be broken oh i didn't even mention another mod that i have installed that might make people see think that this is bedrock is a mod called bedrockify it basically just adds some parody to java edition so yes we are playing on java edition this isn't bedrock I've always played on Java, and I probably always will. Alright, we're just gonna grab the rest of our chicken, and then fight for our life. Alright. I'm just gonna jump in. You need to make a safe route. Oh, I can make one. Gosh, I'm not a fan of this. I think we'll just put our torches here for now. There are so many mobs down here. Oh gosh. I forgot to do something. There's not supposed to be creeper damage, I'll be honest. So we're gonna run over here and hide ourselves away. In fact, I need blocks on my hand. Another thing that is disabled for now and probably forever is mob griefing and now there's a mod installed to make mob griefing better so it doesn't disable villagers interaction and stuff like that um i just i do not want to deal with creeper blasts and that nonsense hi mr zombie There we go. No more creeper blasting. Uh, it also stops endermen from griefing too, which is just a nuisance. The creepers, like, if they blow up, it's kind of your fault, right? But an enderman griefing, like, you can't control that. They haven't implemented a way to stop that. So it's just not something I'm a fan of. Oh, oh, hi. Hello there. Oh gosh. All is well. Gosh, I'm pretty far down already. Ooh, don't like that. Okay. Hi, you're a nuisance. And so are you. And there are so many mobs down here, and it's nighttime. You think there wouldn't be? Okay. We really need to get more iron. Okay, okay. Thank goodness. Jeez. I'd like to go back up here and get this iron. Bam. 
Okay. Okay. Some easy iron here. Thank goodness. Mm, we need 12 more and then we'll have a full set. That was almost bad. Closer. Iron? Coal? Anything? No more water. <laughs> Gosh, it's going to be so dark. Okay, well, we're back here. You know what? I will mine this gold because it's right in front of my face. And we can make golden apples if we really want to. And I'll mine some copper too. Bam. Chest plate. Okay. I'm going to try and get pants next because it will give us more protection so i can pick up this water here and delve deeper even though i really shouldn't because i only have one chicken um <laughs> Gosh, food is gonna be a problem. I might have to deforest just to get apples. Sort my inventory. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ow. That was annoying. That was dangerous. That was even more dangerous. Okay, let's just eat our last chicken, whatever. Oh, thank goodness. Coal. Silent mining. <laughs> I think we're going to go back to that area where the deep slate started to appear and just keep going because I would really like to just find some diamonds. I'm being kind of greedy, but um, whatever. <laughs> it might pay out. Maybe I'll just die. It'll be over just like that. Let's get the coal too. I was just going to ignore it, but... um. Honestly, shouldn't pass anything up this early in the game. Aside from copper. Um, I'm not really... I don't really need copper, I don't think. Then again, I haven't decided what I want to build, so maybe it'll feature copper. And I should be mining it. Just looking behind me. Make sure I'm not about to get blown up. I will still die. Even with diamond armor, I could get blown up and die. A creeper. All right, we're reaching the half hour mark. So we have a half hour to go before I end the series, and it's completely. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And that's it. Series over. We reached the half hour to an hour mark. And jump. No, my pig. All right. You know what I wish they would add um, in the caves update? Some means of getting food in the caves. Because, well, you know, what am I saying? They do have the glow berries. Because um, you can't eat those. So that that is nice, I will say. But it's not, it's biome specific. Like, there needs to be some kind of, like, bug or something, or maybe a mole that you can kill and eat for substantial food. Something. Well, okay. Mojang wouldn't add moles just so you could kill them and get food, so they, they definitely wouldn't do that. Very plant-based. Hence, like, the glowberries and stuff. 
Now, if they add, like, a creature of their own design, maybe they'd, like, you know, kill it and get food. Maybe just have, like, a cave worm or something. Ooh, it's like a glowing cave worm, and you could kill it, and it, and, you know, cook it, and it gives you food. And it's also a lighting source, so it has multiple uses, you know? Wow, you... You really move funky, huh? That's another thing that I have on is uh oh speaking of okay that's nice oh that's so cool the way it crumples up as it dies sweet love the loot um we are f absolutely brimming with garbage and uh take a screenshot of this and be on my way All right. 15 levels already. I see you, Lapis. You thought you could escape my inventory? Actually, it did because my inventory is full. And I don't have food. I want to go find something to eat. I'm going to avoid eating the rotten flesh for as long as I can. Um, Let's get rid of this junk. Ugh. I mean, everything's kind of useful. Like, I'm in that hysteric mode of, like, everything is useful. I'm in hardcore. Nothing is useless. Bam, just like that. That was very dangerous of me. Just jumping down. No way of escape. But heck, I, I really would like to just... I'd... Be fine with just one diamond, honestly. No, I need you. I need your flesh, please, sir. Thank you. Gosh, the atmosphere inside this deep slate generation is cool. Definitely makes it fe you feel like you are very deep within the earth. Or rather, within the world. Gosh, I'm just imagining this place when the deep dark is implemented. Having the fear, like, seeing the skull and having the fear of running into the warden. Absolutely terrifying. Ooh, Lesh! That's amazing. I'd love to see that. Because that means we can stay in the cave longer! Yay! Food! Thank goodness. Let's... Let's eat the rest of our rotten flesh and get some glowberries. Thank goodness. Oh, this is lovely. Let's get some moss because this is a wonderful block and it should not be passed up upon. I'm actually going to get as much as I can, maybe even a stack because it is early game and I do not have bone meal. Or a means to gather it easily. In fact, we're basically going to just ravage this poor little speck of lush cave for food and resources. Let's get this iron because this is just too big and beautiful of a vein to pass up. Bam. Thank goodness. I'm so sorry. You're no longer glowy. And you're a dead. <gasps> oh, I was not expecting that. <laughs> I was not expecting to turn around and find diamonds. Oh my gosh. Can you believe this? This is amazing. Uh, you go there. Oh, well, this is a big vein. Two, three, four, five, six. Wow, this is huge. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Really? Eleven, twelve. We got 12 diamonds from that one vein? What? Very generous. Thank you, Lush Cave. Thank you for that generosity. That's unbelievable. I I don't remember the last time I've had a vein that big. Uh, don't soil the moment, skeleton. Oh, don't soil the moment, skeletons! Oh, there's an Enderman, too. Should probably kill it. Uh, 
All right. We're going to win this fight. I wish they would have fought each other. I can't afford to take damage. Stop it. Thank you. Gosh, now I'm feeling... I'm on a... You know, I'm excited. Just got diamonds. I feel like I can do anything. They might get me killed. Yeah, you don't stand a chance. I'm so sorry. Gosh, 12 diamonds. We just need 12 more and then we can get a full set of diamond armor. Oh, thank goodness. That's another mod that we have on right now. Is a gravel miner. So you know when you're mining deep down in the earth. Trying to get diamonds. You're branch mining. And you run into a gravel pocket and it's just so annoying because it keeps falling down. It's like, when is it ever going to end? Well, <laughs> with this mod, it basically, if there's gravel above the block that you're breaking, it breaks all of the gravel above that block instantly. That way you don't have weird interactions where you nearly die because of annoying gravel. And... Now, some would say that's a feature. Um, I just call it a nuisance. Because chances of you suffocating in gravel, I would say, are very low. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. I want to go say hi to my chickens. I miss them. Ah, we're right on the edge. The ocean. Alright, let's get our bearings. You know what? I think we are kind of close to the chickens. They're all, they're over here. Okay. You know what? Let's let's tame a wolf. Come here. Actually, I'm gonna get you because you're in this hole. Hi. <gasps> Yay! Okay, I'm gonna get you over here too. Yay, we have pets now. Got our wolves and our chickens. Hello, chickens. I come back from my adventures to feed you. Breed and be bountiful. All right, come here, dogs. Let's sit over here. Come here. No, 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 sit down. You too. Thank you. How much wool can we make? Yes, we can make three wool. Thank goodness. Let's make our bed, set our spawn, which doesn't matter now that I think about it. But hey, we've set our spawn. We'll not respawn when we die, but... And sleep. Sweet dreams. Okay, let's dye our bed because we're not basic. We're not going to have a basic white bed. It's uncalled for. Bam. So I'll respawn again just in case. Who knows what'll happen. You know? Anything could happen. You know, I guess the nice thing about hardcore is I don't have to worry about losing my experience because if I die, well, the world's gone. So I literally can't die, which means I can't lose my experience. All right, guys, I think that's going to do it for today. Um, we've had a successful first day. We went mining, got... Hold on. Hold on. There we go. We got 12 diamonds, which I think is amazing. And we got some pets. Anyways, I think today's been a very productive first day. And we've done it. We've survived. 